And hello and welcome to game two between Scotch and PFC and this one and Barter Town on Belgorod. A map Scotch knows by hand since he is one of the crafters of it, as I've just seen on a loading screen. We shall see how much of an advantage it is. Seems to have worked fairly well in their favor in the first one. Quite a decisive one. But let's see if this one and Barter Town have a better time as the Axis in this matchup on this map. Pretty straightforward map, lots of territories in the middle, and some deep cutoffs all available to everybody, which is pretty hype. That one seems a little bit better than the other sides. Like, this one seems a lot closer to that one. Okay, no, I think that one is working for the entire west side. Okay, this one is for the north, and this one's for the south. Okay, yeah, so it's all fair and square. Nothing too fancy yet. PFC also going for airborne. Seems to be the thing to do these days. We'll see how it works out. If it works better out for him than for... I think it was Barter Town earlier with the USF pick. I definitely would think you'd need more riflemen. As well as some earlier airborne. Getting some nice heavy cover in the middle. Oh, just goes out of the cut... Out of that immediately. Interesting choice. Doesn't bother finish capping. Setting up in the green covers. Looks like the southern boys have... Eh, I don't know. Seems relatively even. In terms of green cover accessibility. And cover in general. So MG's already on it. North doesn't seem to be too exciting yet. Oh, I might belie that statement. Oh, no. For a second I thought the echelons were a red squad. Okay, there we go. Second rifleman, so a lot more mo mobili more mobility already for PFC here. You see how it plays out for them. Sandbagging gets interrupted. Nicely done. Ooh, that's a bit bad, especially with the Pathfinders around. Since there's scoped rifles, I think it's 20%. If a model is below 20% health and the, the Pathfinder gets a hit, it kills the model instantly. So they're really good at that. That's why they're so good with BARs. Because the higher rate of fires means more chances for that low health hit and the model drop. Because for some reason, I think the, the guys with the scoped rifles get the weapons repl as replacements. Right, so this time a fairly even split. All to play for for both sides yet. So far the allies seeming to do a little bit better here. Again, a little bit more team play from them. This one and Barter Town just don't seem to find a team play stride today. For a second I thought my PC was burning. But I think it's just someone outside grilling. Oh, these... Nice flank here, though. Scotch is gonna lose that. Conscript. So Conscript's life expectancy seems pretty bad. Oh no! Another rifleman as well. Terrible news for our allied players. Two squads down. They do not get one retaliation as far as I've seen. I don't think I missed anything. Oh, maybe. So they did force them off the field, but falling behind an, an infantry as allies is pretty harsh. Just took the battlefield. Right, Captain as the uh, commander of choice here for PFC. And is rebuilding the rifleman since he's still far away from the 3CP that he needs. So we'll see how it works. Rifle squad ready for action. But they won the overall engagement. They lost the battle, but they won the war. Let's see if they can hold their advantage here. Our Axis boys have bled a lot for those two kills. So the manpower trade might not be that much of a difference. And it's early enough that it, there wasn't that much veterancy on the squads. Nice use of the wires here. Making sure those sandbags can't be used against them. 
Yeah, it's all silent on the western front tonight. Pretty much good old Panzer Grenadiers decide to ruin these poor engineers' day. Oh man. Looks like my PC just can't handle code too much more. We've turned it down rather substantially in terms of graphics, so as far as that's concerned. Should be okay these days. Got no physics on and nothing. Oh, but well, there comes a big flank here from PFC. Again with a nice team play. Whereas, like, it's just if you look at the minimap, there's always this nice intersection of PFCs and Scotch units. Whereas, this, you always just see the, the almost 50 50 split down the middle between this one and Barter Town. As they've rarely crossed the lines. Two to two out on the field. He's gonna try and bully this captain. Since he does not have access to any anti armor weaponry. So, yeah, looks like these anti tank rifle grenades probably get. Unlocked now with the captain upgrade or some some such. Oh, very nice sandbagging here. Let's see if those guys get home. Looks like it. Can we? How do I follow a unit? I can't remember. There you go. Nice flank here by Scotch. But Scotch and PFC in such a dominant position right now. Triple VP drain is about to set in as well. Flame throw doing well. MG oh. not being of much use here. That is not something you want to spend your time on with that thing. Captain might be in danger. We do have a nice little pluck half track out on the field which is a pretty good 2-2 uh, 2-2-2 counter definitely capacity for both sides to outplay each other but Pipchen on the field and the auto cannon can take care of the sandbag but it's still gonna take some time there's a nice mine or oh, just about semi dodge there Boom goes the dynamite. And the airborne are doing pretty well with the carbines there. Oh, these boys actually got suppressed there, which is surprising. Looks like we had an airborne dropped AT gun way to the front, which is now in jeopardy of being actually taken over. Uh, they did get a nerf to their received accuracy for small arms. And this side has been fighting for like two minutes now. And we're only just making one sector of progress. And all that would it cost was like sending two conscripts over there. So well done by Scotch. But the north has been more or less reclaimed here by our Axis player. Plural. I was about to say, Bartaton should think about going home relatively soon. Oh, looks like he saw it. And he's got to run away from there, so no harm done. Q2 tubing is doing, doing actually a pretty decent job, just skipping back and forth. Trying his little best. Eight kills to its name. Nice attempt here, does get the decap, almost gets the full cap. Has to be careful though. Also a sniper now built by this one. Hans is on the hunt. He's after you. Okay, I'll try to keep a watch on as much as possible. Looks like this is just gonna run into some trouble. 
some grenades and retreats being exchanged in the middle. Ooh, nasty hit by the nerfed Ziscom Barrage. I believe the scatter was increased. But that Zis crew didn't care much for that. It said, I want to hit that man and I want to hit him now. And so they did. Uh, we do not have any grenades, so has to flank it the old-fashioned way, and there's a lot of backup for that MG. And in fact, gets suppressed before he can do so. So PFC has to get out of that one. Does notice it and retreat it. Check the armor compositions. So this one needs to flush together tears. Oh, excuse me. That I think I've missed. Probably w just just the one though. Getting okay, Tiger now. This AA after has been microed excellently so far, I think. From what I've seen, it hasn't taken a single hit yet. Sniper in the middle, just keeping taps on things. Snipers have seen a reduction in their sight. No attack ground here by Bartertown. There we go. Now it's coming in a little bit late to the party. Ooh, Shrimp Pioneers. Gotta be careful there. Sniper getting some really nice kills on those paratroopers. Expensive models. Is this gun barrage still in effect? And PFC looks like he takes the north with a lot of thanks to his little AA gun. So it looks like with some nerfs, if you like spread out enough. And to get a bit lucky, you can kind of just sit the Ziska gun barrage out. So it's a risk versus reward situation nowadays, which is at least interesting. You can't throw out the Zisk barrage anymore and get guaranteed results. So that's definitely interesting. Surprised the flamethrowers here are allowed to get that much value. Ooh, oh, okay. I thought I was gonna go there. Back to the dodge. But these grenadiers really racking up the kills. 2-2-2 two, two, two seems to have been on a little bit of a hiatus. Still at its 8 kills. But army compositions look pretty relatively healthy for our ally players. Scotch probably would like his fourth conscripts back. And we are getting a T-34, speaking of armor, we do not have, we don't even have the upgrade yet. So this went a bit sleeping on that one. And neither is Bartertown coming in with the Schwere. So AT capabilities are going to be a bit limited. We shall see, and PFC doesn't have to major out yet. So it's going to take him a while to get something done as well. Try and get a nice angle on this. And that ta 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 go to paratroopers. But they seem to have more bark than bite at this range. Oh, I heard a rifle nade somewhere. There it is. A one two clap. Here comes the Russian tactical control group. Oh, nice shot by the T thirty four. This one losing a grenadier on a recap that he doesn't even get home. Enemy has killed a machine gun crew. Paratroopers not doing too hot today. They've been bleeding definitely more models than they've killed. Oh, he's still attacking with them. I don't think we've seen a reinforce relay thing thrown down yet. Oh. oh, lucky just saw that in time. One or two seconds longer and they would be toast. So Scotch and PFC again on the march. The enemy is attempting to steal so this one about it, I'm just really taking a little bit late today. Noticed that in the last game as well. Just couldn't get out their vehicles fast enough. T70 was really late, despite having a decent amount of fuel. 
into the forest, just being pretty happy. And some excellent vehicle micro by PFC. Level 2, 11 kills. That boy is doing fantastically. He said before it got deleted. He even gets rid of the cover, very nice. Double Raketten is up. That's one tap. Oh, looks like he's gonna get out. And this one's entire army is being held back by a conscript Beata Sandpack, it seems. Just coming back onto the field. Oh no! Oh, it does notice it just in time before he drops all of the models. Which, fun fact, results in the squad being wiped. If he lose all the models inside of it. T34, ah, having a decent time. Three kills to his name. Already wiped the squad. Stone Pioneer is doing pretty well though. Ah, I say that. Eight kill oh no! I shouldn't have said anything. HE round on the heels. Yeah, this one being really, like, he just doesn't seem to find an angle that he's satisfied with. So he's trying to be methodical about it. But he's just giving the allies so many resources from the game territory. Major holding out with his little pistol in the middle. You go, my man. Oh, even calling down some RT. We're going to check back on that in a sec. Oh, almost didn't dodge it. Second round would have been pretty nice. Look at him go. Look at him. Being a happy chap. There's some rockets coming in. Falling down in the back here. On DMG. Oh. Sniper could be in trouble. But the scatter is being lenient. In fact, I don't think that could use it with anything. But one kill. Ryan conscripts. Meanwhile, the MG has to retreat. So value has been gained by the Russians. Victory Punk control is shifting in the Allies' favor again, and had been actually. Oh no, never mind. Has not been in the Axis' favor. And again, it's just solid team play, putting both the armored forces on one side. Overwhelming the little AT that is available to that front. And as mobile as the Pipchen are, they're not quite that mobile, but they might get him here. Ooh. Very lucky the second one was further away. Panzer 4 is in the build. Notable also Scotch. Ni neither Scotch nor this one have chosen a commander yet. Barter Town has gotten. Some JLI out of it. Oh, looks like the Panzer is going for it. Got some engagements all over the front. Unfortunately, we can't watch that forward. Ooh, that's a... Again, just all on his lonesome. No backup from his teammate. Trying to make the big plays. While his teammate is completely engaged in the middle. Not really being able to help. And 2-2-2 uh, two, two, two doing its best. Oh wow, that was one hell of a curved shot. Actually gets out of there, that's incredible. T-34, yep, again. Too little too late for our ally and PFC even helping him out. A pop and smoke. We're losing a capture point. Someone was sentenced to search for the minefields in the east with his feet. Who is this one gonna do And these guys are just gonna get ground targeted to hell. But he knows those guys are in the area, so wisely decides to back off there before he takes unnecessary damage. BP wise, 422 to 188. But our Axis slowly has their attack together. We're getting an ISG. But with that Panzer IV throw, 
because this one is not looking too healthy. Could consider a Stug. I don't know how the, they are in the meta these days. I guess they're still pretty good at like medium, countering mediums, but um, Jackson is in the build. Unbeknownst to our Axis player, of course. Nice mine. Baguettes doing baguettes. Indeed, indeed. Lirum Larum. Panzer 4 J from Barter Town is eating some hot, hot tungsten armor. British supplied high velocity tungsten rounds for better armor penetration. Tank destroyer is ready for action. Okay, that's 60 munitions for the both of them. If you'd go for it. Hey! Oh, for a second I thought it was a bet 3 T34, which would have made my heart very happy. It's such a rare thing. And then the the, the, tra the most tragic thing is when players decide to ram first thing in the engagement with the bet 3 T34. And the good old BM... Oh! BM base barrage. <laughs> the sniper finds the tank with his forehead. Doesn't seem too good for his health. Decides to back the hell out of there. That's an American blob. You don't want to just run past that. Okay, he's really, really having a hard on for that RT gun. Oh god, Barter Town. Don't do it, man! Don't do it! And again, the team play by PFC and Scorch was just phenomenal. Whereas this one and Barter Town just do the one we want. We do have a Stug indeed! The mighty Sturmgeschütz has entered the battlefield. Oh boy. Oh no, this the sniper! Too close for comfort. Okay, the 2 2 2 is now an anti air duty. This could be switched on as well. Which is something I always forget. Since I've played so little since that rework. And I'm not a big OKW player in general. Ah, uh, I'm not entirely sure how we got. Ah, we do have. Was that a recon? It looks like those both so strafes were scouting for each other. Which is a bit unfortunate for our Axis players. Okay, we've got stuff going on everywhere. Gonna try and keep an eye on it. Notice the Jackson in the back going for... Oh, think, oh god! 2-2-2 two 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 also giving away its position a bit. By hosing it down. I'm pretty sure the Stug does not attack air. Oh, do we have an abandoned? That'd be kind of interesting. Oh no, we have a follow bug. Which shouldn't even happen because the follow notification isn't even on the scene. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Thank you, old buddy, for the... I don't know, was it a raid? I don't have my notifications on. But apparently it's still bugging, bugging the fuck out. So, my apologies. Shell, T34. And I guess we had an abandon or something in that direction, since players were inquiring about the tournament mod. Something's been downed in the defense of Rodina. I don't know how that's even possible that it's still bugging. When it's not even on the bloody scene. God damn it. I think it goes away if I switch it quick. But let's figure this out. Game should be loud enough. To drown out my problems. Oh no! A ring around the rosies! Teleports behind him. Nothing personal, Stuck. But he misses the money shot! And this one does get it. Meanwhile, in the middle, there's been a big push. Things are exploding. I don't know what's happening anymore. We're going cinematic. Fuck it. Things. Boom. Shakalaka. Pipkin looking in the wrong direction. Look at these beautiful, beautiful explosions. Meanwhile, we're just frying my CPU. Okay, I'm gonna try and fix it. Okay, uh, we're gonna go to that screen. And then back to this. Please don't. Fuck! 
Uh, it worked earlier. How is it even possible that it's bugging out on me when it's not even in the fucking scene? Thank you, OBS, for, OBS for that. We've got another Stuck, so double Stuck. Okay, hang on. This is unacceptable. We're gonna go to that scene. We're gonna wait for a couple seconds. Then we hope that it, that, that stops the loop. Alt enter, what does that do? I think that just doesn't that just close my stream? And we're going back. Please be fixed. I don't hear anything. Aha! Okay, we'll, when that happens again, we're gonna have to wait it out. Thank you for the follow. I'm sorry the bug, I don't know how to get rid of it. Like sometimes I've made new scenes and everything and it still happens. And like on some scenes it does, it works. And some it doesn't. It is highly confusing. So we'll probably just end up ditching. Oh, what do my what do my tired eyes see? 250 half track, riding in style with the LMG Grens. In the late game, rocket artillery is coming in. Oh, that's a good that's a good place for it. Just about managed, but I managed to avoid that. Hey, that two for our sniper boy. 21 kills, not bad. Second Jackson is about to enter the field though. 394 to 121. We still, looks like we still have everything to play for. The armies don't look too unhealthy. Double AT gun is still perfectly acceptable. We don't have any static AT gun for this one anymore. But we shall see. Oh no! Major, run away! Run away from the hills! Run away! Oh my god, he's actually making it out. Jackson is having a field day. Some long range target practice. Oh, actually, speaking of. Not so much of a field day as I thought. Looks like he walk, walked into the wrong cornfield. And we are Scotch with the tournament double munitions cache. Pretty hype. Rocket is doing some decent work. Vet 2 and 3, but I have to get the fuck out of there now. Because the IL-2 is raining hellfire upon them. There you go. Look at, look at that, that, that amazing turn that it's gonna perform. <laughs> <laughs> These pilots must have whiplash every time they, they make a turn. They have the constitution of cosmonauts. It's what they call a handbrake turn for airplanes. Something just exploded. One of our fighting positions ah, it was a plane. Fire. Cheeky stealth cap up there. The enemy is taking our territory. But it looks like the players have heard you cry for help. And as soon as you all showed up, they started getting making spicy things. Fire. Oh, double panzer four push. Decides to back off. Nothing's really happening there. <laughs> Stooks on anti-infantry duty. They can occasionally slide the, a model, but not reliably, let's put it that way. We do have some... S oh, looks like we have most seven-man upgrades already done and dusted. Oh, God. Meanwhile, I'm just melting my CPU by going constantly tilting town camera. You're most welcome there. Uh, Panzer Force just keep getting spotted. And then the Jacksons decide to be very, very annoying. Oh, beautiful, beautiful rockets. I'm gonna keep tabs on the Jackson. Jackson actually got, looks like it missed there. Oh, the Vet 3, run away! But again, now that PFC has taken care of his side, he always rolls down to help out Scotch. <laughs> the hull down 
250, actually eating two AT gun shots, and then decides to blow up in unison with a Stuk. 10 out of 10 points for synchronized explosions. But in true American fashion, the drive-by has been effective. Popping those shots, unfortunately, the mighty flag. The flag is mightier than the tank. Decides to block him in. Oh, the Stug is trying to be saved. But the smoke drop is a little too late. So the Jackson's work here has been done. Uh, even might get the ISG here, which... Uh, okay, does, has been doing okay, it seems. The beast from the east has arrived. IS2. Oh, follow camera. Oh no, that's for the player camera, right? I don't even know if it works in a replay. Oh, getting rid of the Schwerer would be really nice. Because it always is. Panzer IV is doing a bit of a cruise through the north. PFC decides not to react to that. Schwerer explodes. I assume these guys go down as well. I'm doing it, Mom! I'm catching all the wipes! <laughs> I'm doing my best here. 2v2 on your lonesome is a bit stressful. Uh, I don't know where that's going. Uh, looks like on the north. Ooh! Massive shot here by the Sherman. That was like, what, five kills? Ah, did someone spoiler my stuff? <laughs> I don't see any spoilers. Or am I missing something? Oh no, the vetted raketons that might go down, but the eyes too also. Oh god. The frame rates are dropping, just like this Panzer 4. 24 points left. Hero Rocketons are still at it. The IS-2 meta, is it back? I've seen a lot of them. Also, <laughs> Panzer IV on a Katusha Rampage. 20 points to go though, I don't think it's gonna matter. Also, fun fact, the Katusha is not what he thinks it is. I just want to keep an eye on this. <laughs> He's trying to find it. <laughs> oh, it just feels bad, man, when you drive all the way to Moscow. And then there's no one there to greet you. It's Dorian, the explorer. Vet free Sherman. Not something you see too often these days. And then he's gonna get gang banged in the middle. Oh, if he would have got the Jackson, it would have at least been kind of nice for him. Of our panzers has been destroyed. GG has been called. And Scotch and PFC take game two as well. Which puts them even further in the lead. Oh. I forgot what I was about to say. Thanks for joining. <laughs> Let's use that one. But yeah, really good uh, team play by P between PFC and Scotch and Siswen and Barter Town. Really need to work on the team play a bit. It's, it's literally they they cross the middle line once in a full moon to help each other out. Whereas as you really see Scotch and PFC rummaging and roaming through the countryside together in harmony, holding hands, skipping rope. But at least the KD was a lot better this time for Patton and this one. So they're not completely out of this yet. Maybe they just need to find their stride. And we shall find out in the next game. <laughs>